okay and if you see gemini sign rules what gemini signs rules third house in the kal purush kundli uh, let me show you this in this way so you see this so kal purush kundli gemini sign is coming into the second house of the taurus ascendant so of course <clears throat> for the second house prediction always try to bring about the third house signification also of the kal purush kundli always remember that we have to bring about the signification of what third house this one this one you have to bring about so any prediction you make of second house bring about the feature bring out the bring about the theme of third house of kal purush kundli the gemini sign and the placement of mercury in the chart and um let me show you so in the taurus ascendant we have to see the mercury placement also because mercury owns fifth house and the second house and fifth house shows what stock market romance your uh, education also so if you see if the mercury is placed in eighth house or 12th house what would be your prediction if mercury is placed in 8th house or 12th house what would be your prediction let's let's take a example of 8th house so i just want to hear what would be the prediction you can make if mercury is in 8th house that means first of all uh ninth so ninth is a sign of uh, a ninth rules first, first, jupiter first, no 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 first note is the house not the sign always always right so eight house. eight hmm. yeah so eight uh, eight is a house of like uh, secrecy yeah so that means in his family his family must be very introvert or i must say they they don't have very good communication uh to, to the native uh and 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 uh, i would say they don't discuss their thoughts and uh, uh uh basically the the day to day decision they they don't have that that good uh that good amount of uh, communication uh, and and every person in the family i would say is uh, you know kind of uh, unknown to everyone because they don't they don't discuss much about each other possibility yes yes possibility and you yeah. can, you can also make one more uh, prediction just to make things easy sometimes mm -hmm. if you find that uh, you know you are not able to predict find out the second sign of mercury where is the second sign another sign another is in fifth house yeah so so that means his relationship will also be secretive very yes yes uh, and Plus, the sixth, that fifth house is also also uh, tells up uh, tells us about the first child. Yeah. Correct. So that that also afflict by this because yes. uh, that means uh, his communication uh, with his first children will also not be very good. Plus, yes. Who? What? What are the? What? What are the things doing happening in the family? must not be known to each of the family member because it's a house of security secrecy that means everyone is doing something which which is not known to everyone yeah and and <clears throat> i put another layer i said that if mercury is in eighth house i i'm not talking about mercury is in second house i'll talk about that if mercury is in eighth house there is a possibility that that person may have a break in his education because fifth house also shows education and it is a possibility that fifth house represent what stock market and speculation trading there is a possibility that he may be losing his money in stock market and trading there is a second uh, prediction but sir why why would say why would we say he will lose it because he might be doing it in 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 secret but uh, losing, but losing there why why because 8th house is is not actually a money making house 8th house is not a trikona house or a kendra house it is a dusthana uh -huh. house because if someone is doing in 
secretively there is a chance is i'm telling you there is a chance is that he will not be making money that's the reason why he is doing secretively if he is if he is making money he will not no. hide it he will tell at least to to his or her parents if not to uh, his friends at least he will he'll reveal or he will spill the beans to at least his or her parents at least but 8000 is a house of um, peeda also cast also so 8000 8000 yeah and generally if you if you see only handful of people only handful of people in the world have very good 8000 where they are able to make name and fame from 8000 very handful of people hmm. generally if you see 8000 uh, destroy the matter of the planet from wherever it has the lordship it generally it will lose its signification or the karakat or but- Eight houses for your production industrial also. So most of these person are doing work with industrial also. So because they yeah. have a strong eight house, so they that's why the reason they are uh, doing an industrial uh, okay. business. Okay. Now let me tell you. <clears throat> um, if I remember, Albert Einstein has a very uh, good eight house. He was a scientist. So eight house shows what. so uh, research you know so he was uh, he was a scientist and he was into uh, research based thing so his eighth house signification is coming from research so that's how you you use the karakatva now if you're talking about the making money from industry perspective so if there is a good aspect of jupiter on eighth house or mercury or um, or, or or venus and if Eighth house is making a connection with eleventh house. Yes, he can make money. Why not? Why not? We have to these additional factors also. I. So I'm even not, the Rahu is the Kara Tatwa for the you know research and yes, science. Yes. Yes. So now suppose if Rahu is in eighth house, definitely um, if a person uh, is going into research based theme or research based education, there is a. Ninety percent chance that he'll get get some name and fame, and he'll get the good education. So and, mm-hmm. Mine is in eight house only. So why you did not try uh, your hands in uh, research based thing? Why you did not try? So I'm doing in Vars too, and I've got very success in that also. So see, you I are have... using you are using these occult yeah. signs. Um, uh, so, like hmm. I'm not. I never use other person's you know uh, remedy and everything. I have done my own remedy. I have. We have did research and have taken out new remedy also without doing uh, installation or uh, removing this your washroom and everything. Hmm. And without that, only this simple trick I have seen. I am getting a result. Hmm. Very good. Uh, you were you were asking sir, how how hmm? how do we will say like eight house is strong. If eighth house has a benefic aspect, or like, if a or if a benefic pl- uh, planet uh, plays itself in it, will we say it is a strong? See, uh, uh, see, there, uh, as I talked about earlier, also there are very handful of people. Uh, let me talk about uh, Amitabh Bachchan's chart. He is he is he is a big celebrity. I was not willing to talk about any celebrity chart in my classes, but uh, as the question came up. he has four planets in eighth house oh. now he is earning money not by investing he is earning money by acting so his eighth house is working in a very unique fashion because he has a venus which is a karakatva of uh, you can say tv industry however some people say that rahu is also associated with camera yes it is associated but he is making money when it comes to um Through, through acting or through you know his creative creative skills but when it comes to um uh, you know putting your money in some business there is a chances that um, it may not materialize and then um, mr amita bachchan has actually undergone some um, money related problem few years back if you remember correct when he comes in uh, business uh, yeah. partnerships yeah so how you use your 8th house it depends it depends See, Einstein used in eight thousand in a certain way. Rajni Shosho used his eight thousand in his certain way. He see, he was a spiritual guru. He used his eight thousand in his own 
uh, you know flavor so every person has to have used his um, 8000 in a you know in a some particular manner so if suppose if suppose you know, if rahu is in 8000 there is a possibility that that person if he engage himself in stock market trading and he try to make shortcut money he will not he will not be successful there is a there is a chances because rahu in 8000 will uh, provoke him to make uh, or take shortcuts in life to make money so there is a possibility but however if you go into research base work then you can earn money through through your paperwork through your documentation through your research base work so it depends how you are using your planet so every suppose if 10 kids are born at the same time same city date everything is same but for every person or every kid the future will not be same you got the you got the meaning what i am trying to explain here every person will have a certain upbringing right so that also depends how a person is using his his dasha because all the 10 kids may have uh, suppose his mars dasha as a starting dasha and when they will go into early education they start their rahu ma dasha but one person try to make money through shortcut one person try to make money through research one person try to um uh, make money first by going into a good higher education by by going abroad and who will send him abroad his parents so it depends desh kal patra who is you know it depends your your parents are the first um, people in the early years of your life who actually make your fortune honestly i'm telling you 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 are trying to uh, connect the dots right is it easy narend yes sir yes sir yeah any question till now um one thing sir yeah. uh, when we are when we were discussing about the mercury in 8th house hmm. so uh, mercury being in 8th house is also affecting its own uh, house hmm. which is second house hmm. Hmm. so uh, from there uh, hmm. should we say like it will benefit it can there is there is no problem